Hey guys, welcome to Instinctual Tarot. I am Dre Eden, and I am here for Sagittarius Flash Read. And um, as always, I prayed off the camera, but I'm going to ask that spirit send you guys love and light, and that these messages come to you in the best mind, body, and spirit. And um, disclaimer. These messages might not resonate with everybody. So you just take what goes for you and leave the rest, right? We don't try to make it fit. And um, I might be talking about somebody else. Energy is interchangeable. So I might be talking about you. I might be talking about the people around you. So you want to keep that in mind. And let's get right into it. Okay, Sagittarius, is you coming up to... Um, decisions and how you're going to continue your situation in your visual how you see people how you see places how you see things you want a definite change within those things because they're not at your liking and your standard at the moment it's too much up and at them. It's too much, you know, people lying to you and then they telling you they love you. I mean, then people, <laughs> you know, it's those type of situations. Very low energy of how to assess the situation or even how to come to, um, how to come to a decision. Making the right decisions in the way you view things around you and the way you know, they perceive they so two okay. Yeah, feeling like you need to walk away from everything emotionally, not feeling, you know, like it's your best bet. Not understanding why you're feeling this way, but you just know that the best decision is to understand that you're leaving behind certain emotions certain thought processes that got to do with other people, places, and things. And this is a quick, fast movement. It's understanding that, you know, things work within the time, but when they start pulling on your heartstrings, the Eight of Cups speaks of uh, a knowing, acknowledging that shit ain't right. See, that's the first step. Yeah, but you're going towards better things in life. You see, you see the duality in things. You know, it's either one way or I'm going to feel like this and be nurtured. You know what I'm saying? The sun speaks of everything bliss. So that's the decision right there, Sagittarius. Whether it's on any level, but I know it's something that you want to see. You know, you, you want to see different love. You want to see different actions come from that. It's, it's a tangible thing. It's, you know what I'm saying? And it's there. You just got to leave, walk away from the certain things that you have now just to understand, you know what I mean, what is out there. They got that illusion card, the seven of cups. You got to get an illusion. Back to the seven of cups. There's things that just keep calling you back. Keep calling you back. And these things don't even really want your attention. They just want what you have. They say you out here playing. <laughs> and they're gonna oblige you. Yeah, spirits that boss up. But these Sagittarius, is, is, you got it. You got your money together. You have it. And you feel like, well, I'm gonna play since, you know what I'm saying? Real masculine energy. Real feminine, too. Him, her. You know, doesn't mind the person. But you are coming into this as in, I already know, you know, that I can just play. You know, you know, it ain't tricking if you got it type of energy. But also understanding that it's going to go your way or the highway. You're not willing to accept anything else but that. Spirit, give me one more for Sagittarius. Let's see what you're doing out here. I like a little playtime too now. Yeah. And that's understanding, like, it ain't going to be no other way. The Queen of Wands, your thought process is sticking to how you want to perceive things, how you're going to towards the next people that you are sexually. It's your pick of the will, but it's also drowned 
by um, non-stability, a, a, a fetish of a moment. It's good while you win it, but then you wake up the next morning and be like, oh, why? Like, why? It didn't nourish you to what you was going for. You see the happiness of where you're at, but you're not really going towards that because you feel like, you know, I paid the bills. So you people that's in relationships that feel like you can have your nights out. I see people right here in relationships that say, oh, well, you know, since I do that, which is not a good energy to live in. You don't want to just feel like as if just because you pay the bills, you can, you know, just be spontaneous within a relationship. If you have a commitment. See, Sagittarius do be living here. And people notice that, well, yeah, y'all for night, y you buy the drinks for those out there. You, you buying the drinks, you, you want to make yourself feel good, so you bring on the good time. And people are going to celebrate on your expense. Spiritually. The Four of Swords. Yeah. That's the Lord of Rest from Strife. That's after coming from a situation. See, you was heartbroken in the past. Or somebody did something real dirty to you. Stole your money. All that. And what happened was that made you harden up. Now you understand. Now you're in this old patience mode of I'm going to do what I want to do. And ain't nobody going to tell me different. Some of y'all took a moment to get here. You Sagittarius is bossed up, leveled up, came from a, a point of understanding and knowledge. Your money as well, and you're going for more, and people see that. But you're in a steady mode of you're not moving, and you feel like you shouldn't have to. It's your domain. You be telling people to get the fuck out when you're done with them. <laughs> These sets of people. Because you already know your light and you know where you're going. And you, you're living within that. And you can spot out the illusions as they come in. That's the place to be. All right, Sagittarius. That was your flash reading. I'm Dre Eden. This was Instinctual Tarot. And I'll see you guys in a minute. Blessings. <laughs>